I wanted to come on tonight and just kind of show you what I've been working on. And I've been posting on Instagram and on our Facebook and YouTube page about the junk journals that I have been working on. I finally have a completed one that I would like to share with you. This one is bound using a vintage book hardcover. Um, and hopefully you can get a good visual on the detail of the front. A lot of times I'll decorate the front of the junk journal covers, but because I, I loved the scroll work on this and all the detail, I felt like it was good as is. And then if you turn it to the side, you can see I have bound the pages together. So this is the outside spine and it has a pretty decorative thread down the center. And I also created a spine tassel. This is just a very pretty, fun way to kind of give your journal some added flair. And what you can also do is you can um, take this right off. I attached a bulldog clip to it. So um, if you take this off, you can actually use it as a bookmark too. So if you don't want it on your journal or if you want it on your journal, but then sometimes to use it as a bookmark, you can do that too. I'm going to go ahead and attach it back on the spine, but again, that's just an option. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of show you a flip through of this. It was uh, all handmade, um, and I do I I do use mixed media, so I use both vintage and new paper. Um, generally, what I'll probably do is I'll probably write out. Well, I don't know. I might, I might not say what's vintage, what's not with the journals, but during the video, I can certainly do that if you want to know. Um, just like opening up, this is the front page and hopefully you can see that okay. So this is the front when you open, this is actually going to be the inside cover. So this page is quite hard. And then down here, it has an envelope. And then this is a card that can be you can uh, take this out. So if you wanted to take that out, you can. And then there's lined paper underneath that you can write on. Or you can write on the card and then you can uh, switch the card out just by undoing the clip here. I made it so it's fully functional. And then I just added a lot of decorative uh, scrap material and trim fabric just kind of went with the color themes and inspired by spring so there's bird art with that as well and then if you jump over to the first page of the book I'm just going to lower it a little bit um, and okay so over here it's going to show you like I have right here where you can write. And then there's just some more, just like little ephemera, modern ephemera down here. And then this die cutout of the butterfly up here. And there's a little bit of space here if you wanna add some writing. So there's that. Um, so that's the inside of the cover and then the first page. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the page here. And here I just had a lot of fun. There's not a ton of room to write with, but you can add photos. You could put a photo right here, um, but then leave a little bit of the vintage wallpaper showing through. So the photos like in the center and then the vintage wallpaper would be a frame. Um, there is right here some just pretty fabric, um, just a lot of details. I used a dictionary page and then uh, stamped the bird on it. So even though this page is full, you can still add to it. You can um, take paper clips and add little notes. Even if you're inspired by like a, the spring garden theme, if you have leftover seeds, put them in a little baggie, clip them in here. So there's so much you can do with this. Um, so that's the front of the second page. And then I'm going to go ahead here and show you this right here is another page. And again, we're just going off that spring inspired theme. Um, so I have a lot of the fabric throughout, a lot of the golds and the reds, and um, just there are areas to write on too. 
And these, uh, the pages are actually, I even hand uh, dyed the pages using tea. So this aged look, I did this to the paper as well, uh, as far as even baking the paper in the oven. So <laughs> this is truly one of a kind. Um, yeah, so here's another page. And there's areas for you to write. And again, this would be a pretty page here to put a photo, but then have the flowers still show through. And then here is another page. This journal is actually 28 pages, um, not including the inside and back covers. So 28 pages, there's a lot you can do and add with this. Can everyone see the photos okay? If you can, just leave me a comment below. Or if you feel like you know someone who might like this, go ahead and give this video a share. I would appreciate that. Um, yeah, and then so just going forward here, I just did, I added these so you have spots to write in. Um, and then, like I said, I would use this section for like photos. So just give me one moment here. So there's the comments. All right. Um, and then, yeah, so there's that. And here I used some mixed media. I did some tags. I did some fabric, some line writing paper. Um, and I just really like how this all turned out. Everything flows together very nicely. Here's a little rabbit. So it's very spring garden themed. It's going to be hard to part with this one. There's a lot of hours into this, but I know that someone's going to enjoy it. And then this is the final um, page. This is the back of the inside hardcover. So then there, that closes. And you have all this pretty paper that just kind of hangs over the edges here. And again, you have the beautiful spine tassel that um, is detachable. So if you want to use it as a bookmark, you can do that too. Um, and then you can just clip it back on. I do have this listed on our website. So I will post the link in the comments. So in the comments, there's a link to this exact junk journal. Um, and also I did a tutorial on the inside cover here to the journal. I did a tutorial of that and I posted it to our YouTube channel. So let me just go ahead here and see if I can pull that up. And if I can, I will post a link to our YouTube channel for you if you're not familiar with it.
Okay, so I did post a link to our YouTube channel also. You can go through, if you go to the YouTube channel and you click on the tab videos, um, you'll see all of the videos. There's part one and part two of the junk journal inside front cover. I'm gonna be uploading videos weekly. I started doing what's called Simple Sunday. So each Sunday I'll go on and I'll just share something with you that I enjoy doing on Sundays. Usually it'll be either like making junk journals, painting, cooking, making something of some sort. Um, so if there's anything you'd like to see that I do, uh, go ahead and send me a message and um, I will be adding more junk journals this week. I'm definitely going to have them in Interlochen at the farmer's market. Uh, starting May 2nd through October, there's the Interlochen's farmer's market every Sunday and from I believe nine to two. So that's where I will be on most Sundays if I'm not on the road at some of our sh shows that are out of town. Um, and I'll have a full selection of the journals there. And I'm also gonna have the packet. So um, not all of my journals are gonna be completely, like pretty much ready to go. Um, there's gonna be some journals where I will just bind the pages for you to a hardcover or a harder cover so that it stays together. Um, I'll have, I'll like do the pages for it. So whether I tea stain them or do like some other like sheet music or whatever, like I'll have that, but most of the like, it'll be mostly blank. So then you can create the inside of the journals. So those will be under $20. Um, when I make those up and I will have so I'll have a mixed variety of ones where you can just take the journal and then create yourself and then I'll have some that are pretty much completely finished and then you just add your photos your writings etc to it so there's going to be a mix there um, and yeah oh well I was talking about the packets so um, like I like for example like today since I was like working on this journal, I get a lot of like just leftover pieces, but they all look kind of pretty and they flow together. And once you start making this kind of stuff, you'll see what I'm talking about. And you might already know, you might already do this. Um, but like, so for example, there's like these little bits and pieces. So like I would make up like a little packet and then those would be for sale. So if you buy a journal that's pretty much blank slate and then you want to make it yourself, but you like some of the packets, those will be an option too. And then I don't know if you've seen on our website, I have a section in the collections called Ephemera and Junk Journal Supplies. And I'll just post a link of one of the packets, journal packs that I have made up. So you'll kind of get an idea of what I was talking about. So there, that's posted in the comments too. So you have three references in the comments there um, to kind of give you an idea in case you're not familiar with that. And yeah, and I'll just, just kind of, for those of you who are just coming on, this is the junk journal and then I'm just opening up. Here is the front page and the inside cover. Just open it up to random pages here. Here's some more. So this is a completed junk journal that's ready to go for you to add your writings, your embellishments if you want to add more and some words. Um, I do have this in the comments. Um, it's available for sale on our website right now and I'll be adding more to the website this week. I can also ship this. And again, this is detachable. So if you wanted to use this as a bookmark, you could do that too. This is all handmade um, and it was a lot of fun. I love making these and I'll be adding more. If you could um, check out our YouTube channel, if this is of interest to you, I'm also gonna be starting a vintage vendor series when the show season, when I start really gearing up for that, which I 
pretty much am, but once I start really packing up the van and gathering the items, making the tags, the bags, all that good stuff, I want to do a vintage vendor series on our YouTube channel as well. So if you haven't already, check out our YouTube channel if that's of interest to you. I put the link in the comments. Please subscribe and I will be sharing more with you uh, later on this week. Have a good week, you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.